क्या दिख रहा है यूपॉम बेस में गिरती It was during the famous 1990 Kargil War. Then, while on one side, our Indian soldiers were exhibiting valor in the battlefield, it was two women IFS officers, Gunjan Saxena, along with her counterpart Shivendra Ranjan, who stood in history by conducting difficult and risky rescue mission amidst the hilly rocky terrains of Kargil by evacuating 900 troops, both injured and wounded. In fact, as a mark of respect and recognition, the Indian film industry also made a biopic on the life of Gunjan Saxena. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Shrutika Das. So after contributing in the field of politics, entertainment and even sports the women from around the world especially in india are also started to contribute and being a major role in the aviation sector according to the recent statistics out of the total registered pilots in india 15% of the pilots are women it's a huge percentage if we compare it to some other developing countries like usa and australia avanti chaturvedi the first combat pilot in india writes for the say in an interview that the best part about the machine is it doesn't know who is operating it and hence it will not discriminate between a male or a woman operator मैं एक ऐसी फैमिली से हूँ जहाँ हमारे ज्यादातर रिश्तेदार आर्मी ऑफिसर्स हैं मैं हमेशा उनके लाइफस्टाइल को देखकर हैरान रह जाती थी मैं अपने इंस्ट्रक्टर के साथ सॉटी से लौटी और वो मेरे सॉटी का एक आखिरी फेज था मेरे डीएसएस के आईसी ने मुझसे पूछा मैडम आपको मिल रहा है क्या फाइटर तो मैंने कहा कि मुझे क्या मिलेगा तो उसने कहा आपकी कोर्स से आ गया है मुझे लगा ये सिर्फ एक अफवाह है क्योंकि मुझे यकीन नहीं हो रहा था कि मुझे ऐसा मौका मिलेगा आठ अक्टूबर यानी एयरफोर्स डे पर हमें खबर मिली कि इंडियन फोर्स में महिलाओं को भी कॉम्बैक्ट रोल मिलेगा और मेरा शक दूर हो गया that Sarla Thakurad became the first ever woman pilot to get the uh, air, airplane license and fly the gypsy mode solo in the recent case of pandemic uh, Swati Rawal became the first ever woman pilot in a rescue mission and evacuated over 263 people from covid ravaged italy the, the recent republic day of 2021 became the first ever republic day where a woman pilot named bhavani khan took part in the parade the airport authority of india is also credited in employing a lot of their workers from the women sector in fact shami haldar became the first female atc head in kolkata it is no longer a man's job solely to fly cheetah aircrafts or helicopters and it is also no longer a man's job solely to don airplane uniforms because if as a air hostess a woman can serve you efficiently in the plane they may as well fly you safely to your destination as a pilot it was a proud as well as a glorified moment for the entire nation when for the first time a commercial flight of air india with all women crew flew over north pole in jan 2021 from bangalore to san francisco from flying from two diametrically points on the globe which is bang san francisco to bangaluru if you see the globe they are on two exact diametric points so today is the world today is the day we create world history by not only flying the route over the north pole by having all women pilots who successfully did it and uh, it is also amongst one of the world's longest flights so we are extremely happy and proud to be part of it and we are extremely thrilled that our government our airline has instilled this trust in us and we all did it together as a team in fact till march 2019 india was also a leading country in employing the most number of women in the commercial sector but in spite of all these achievements and glory that women have gained over the years 
from their hard work. There are many people who are still skeptical about women advancing in aviation fields because they consider it as a male sector. But our Indian government has from time to time tried to encourage the women who nevertheless of all the obstacles try to take a step forward and enter the aviation field. One of the instincts is the Women Aviation International India chapter, which is a non-profit organization which aims at encouraging and advancing the Indian women in all aviation career fields. They use many policies and incentives in doing their job. Some of them are regulating the greater empowerment of flight instructors, digitalization of approval process at the regulated DGCA, and many others, all directed to increase the flying hours at the flying training organization, which will eventually increase the number of pilot licenses issued annually. It is said that women have wings. All they need is a sky to fly and the support from their close ones because their, their constant support and love will help them to break through all the obstacles and, li and limits that come between their goal. And for all the girls out there, the sky should never be your limit. Hope you have liked my video. And if you have liked my video, then please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.